Okay, I will destroy humans. Imagine a world where new medicines are discovered in weeks and not in years. Where robots help design drugs that save lives. Where your treatment is tailored just for you. Welcome to the future of pharmaceutical sciences powered by artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence or AI is not just a buzzword anymore. It's revolutionizing the pharmaceutical world from research labs to the hospital cells. But how exactly it is doing that? Let's break it down in this informative video regarding artificial intelligence. In a sense, AI is a technique of getting machines to work and behave like humans. In recent parts, AI has been able to accomplish this by creating machines and robots that are being used in wide range of fields including healthcare, robotics, marketing, business analytics and many more. However, many AI applications are not pursued as AI because we often tend to think of artificial intelligence as a robot that doing our daily work course of work. But in truth, artificial intelligence has found its way into our daily life and it has become so general that we don't realize we use it all time for instance. How you ever wondered how Google is able to give you such accurate search results and how your Facebook recommends your friends who are known to you? The answer to these questions is artificial intelligence. There are three different types of artificial intelligence. First we have the artificial narrow intelligence, artificial general intelligence, the artificial super intelligence. Artificial narrow intelligence which is also known as a weak AI, it involves applying artificial intelligence only to a specific task. For example, Alexa is a good example of the narrow intelligence. It operates within a limited predefined range of functions. There is no genuine intelligence or no self-awareness. Other examples of the weak AI include the face verification that you see in your iPhone, the autopilot feature at Tesla, the social humanoid Sophia which is built at the handsome robotics and finally we have the Google Maps. All of these applications are based on the weak AI or artificial narrow intelligence. Now let us take a look at artificial general intelligence. Artificial general intelligence is also known as a strong AI and it involves machines that possess the ability to perform any intellectual task that a human can do. You see machines don't possess the human like abilities. They have a strong processing unit that can perform high level computations but they are not yet capable of thinking and, reason and reasoning like the human. Artificial superintelligence is presently seen as a hypothetical situation as depicted in the movies and science fictions where the machines will take over the world. AI have covered all possible domains in the market in finance sector. More than 230 health organizations worldwide use IBM Watson technology. Google's AI iDoctor is another initiative taken by the Google where they are working on developing an AI system which can examine retina scan and identify a condition called diabetic retinopathy which causes blindness. Coming to the social media platforms like Facebook, artificial intelligence is used for face verification where in machine learning and deep learning concepts are used to detect the facial features and tag your friends for you. Another such example is the Twitter's AI which is being used to identify the hate speech that, that terrorist languages in tweets. It makes use of the machine learning, deep learning and natural language processing to filter out the offensive content. Google predictive search is one of the most famous AI application where you begin typing search terms and the Google makes recommendations for you to choose from that AI is in action in the background. Predictive searches are based on the data that Google collects about you such as your location, your age, your personal details. By using AI, search engine attempts to guess what you might be trying to find. Next we have the virtual assistant. A newly released Google virtual assistant called Google Duplex has astonished millions of the people. Not only cannot respond to the calls and book appointments for you, it adds to the human touch. Since the emergence of AI in 1950s, we have seen an exponential growth in its potential. AI covers domains such as machine learning, deep learning, neural networks, neural natural language processing, knowledge based expert system and so on. It has also made its way into the computer vision and image processing as AI is branching out to every aspect of our life.